Welcome to this edition 49 of Star Nation News here from the top of the Cheyenne Mountains in Colorado, Pikes Peaks, 14,000 altitude. Welcome to the news of the galaxy and I recommend you to go to this beautiful place that is Colorado Pikes Peaks. Welcome and this week I have amazing news for you. So fasten your seat belts and Engage! <laughs> Hi from the Rocky Mountains now, Akili Tokert, former mo member of the Alliance of the Six, met with the representative of the Galactic Federation of World in on board a deep space station. And the news he brought was about an information giving the location of the ships containing the grey hybrid children. These ships were hidden somewhere that that for the moment is undisclosed. The information will come when the children, the hybrids, will have been liberated. The Kilu Tokyo were formerly part of the Alliance of the Six, and the Alliance of the Six comprised the Nebu, the Kilu Tokyo, the Mitra, the Solipsirai, the Zeta Reticuli, and the Sikar. Now it is dissolved, and the Kilu Tokyo went on their own. This merchant had his son captured by the greys and put through the slave trade. That's why he decided to sell out the information where these ships are. I wasn't told the exact information for safety, but now the Galactic Federation of World is going to organize an expedition to, to go and take them, rescue all the hybrids that are in these ships. My guess is that they are on, in a, a parallel and dimensional plane or time bubbles, or both. So we will see how this unfolds. And for the moment, it is, a, I think, a great news. A so-called asteroid is at the moment circling Earth. This asteroid, which is a temporary moon to the Earth, is in truth a ship be belonging to the same people who build the cities on Saturn. And these are called the builders or the architects. And it's the same people who send Oumuamua, the scout ship. And this is another one that will stay in the orbit of Earth for the moment, for the time being, to circle Earth and go. So that's very interesting as information about the builders are, is about to come out. Elena Danan from the Rocky Mountains for Star Nation News. Well, hello from the West in Westminster, Colorado. You can see behind me the beautiful, magnificent Rocky Mountains. This is a beautiful place where we are having the JSIC 2024 as I am recording this edition of Star Nation News. After exploring the Rocky Mountains. Well, the information about the discovery of the location of the ships where the hybrids are is quite, quite an information. How it happened was, you know, the Tkili Tokert, they were formerly part of the Alliance of the Six, led by the Eban, the Nebu, head of the Nebu, originating from Betelgeuse in the Orion zone. The Kili Tokert split from the Nebu when things went belly up with them, with the Nebu, and when the queen was destroyed. The Nebu went back to planetary hives, the Nebu were no more, and the dominion of the galaxy was over. The Kilu Tokurt went their way, as all the other members of the Alliance of the Six, which was including the Sika reptilians, Dracos, who are now having a beating by the Galactic Alliance, 
the zeta reticuli rays on the solipsiri, the eban, of course, the kilito curt, and the mitra from galaxy Andromeda. The kilito curt are merchants. They have been supplying humans for the Dracoreptilians and the Nebu Greys because they are involved in slave trade, galactic slave trade. And the Kilito Kyoto are not, of course, members of the Galactic Federation of Worlds for these reasons, specific reasons, of course. But they are intriguing people. They are paradoxical. They are very much involved into the galactic slave trade. But they are very protective regarding their own children. They are so protective that is, it is quite paradoxical that they are able to treat, to trade the children of other species. A mystery. But aren't humans of Earth the same? Trading babies from other species on Earth, such as cows and other animals. And we love our children and would die for them. I think the Kiri Tokurt are on their journey of evolution, still at that stage where they are about to hopefully understand that respecting children of all species, all cultures, all races, is what they are tending to. A Kili Tokurt, a merchant, whose son was taken into the slave trade, not by his own people, of course, by others, especially the Nebu, one of the Nebu uh, races, cultures, former Nebu, should, should we say, this merchant made contact on a deep space station with a personnel of the Galactic Federation of Worlds, which name, of course, will remain undisclosed. And this key little cup merchant disclosed the location of the ships where the hybrids hybrids made by the Nebu were located. I haven't been given this information for safety reasons until the ships are taken and the hybrids rescued. But my speculation is that they are in an interdimensional place, in a parallel dimension. They are in infinity of dimensions. And maybe also in a time distortion. So, I look forward to know more about this information and this operation. Of course, when it will happen, I do not have the information, of course, for the safety of the information. And also, also it is the last, last step into this war of liberation. Once, once these ships are found, found, that's it. It's over. It's over. The hybrids will be reassigned, redirected to other planets and have a new life. The trauma they've undergone, he needs to be healed first and then physically they need to be also treated. So this is in a good way. Last night, on Friday 27, we had an amazing show. I had promised Danny Henderson that Thorhan could get ships, and especially fleets of spaceships from the Federation, to fly over Denver, Colorado. I trust Thorhan. I, I, I put my life on, on, it, on him. So he said, OK, yes, I will, I will organize that. Don't worry. And he did. And he did. We had formations of scout ships crossing the skies three times. And we had also a TR-3B flying low over us.
because of the NORAD restrictions, flight restrictions, and NORAD, which is just next door to here, <laughs> and we were between NORAD and Denver, um, with Denver Airport, because of the restrictions, the, the, the extraterrestrial spaceships cannot fly below 62 miles. So they flew over 62 miles. But to really, really make me and us happy, Thorhan get the Earth Alliance to participate and get a TR-3B to fly over us because the TR-3Bs are Earth-made and are allowed to fly within the NORAD um, surveillance zone. So we had that. Now, who can do that, right? <laughs> So it was um, a lovely moment, and uh, I was very happy to to give a confirmation of my contact, my real physical contact with the Galactic Federation of Worlds, and keep my promise, as I always do. I look forward to share with you the live stream of the Galactic and Spiritual Informers Connection Conference, the 2024. You can have access to it on the website, galacticspiritualinformers.com, and see all the beautiful speakers. And it has been a really informative and reconnecting uh, event for me. I, I met with a magnificent David A. Adair, who is... Um, Rocketman is called Rocketman. The, uh, David Adair worked in Area 51 and befriended, was befriended by an entity named Pithalem, who is a plasmic supraconsciousness, organic plasmic supraconsciousness. And um, I even got to see her and interact with her by uh, dear David, and it was a real pleasure to have this conversation. Also, Alex Collier was here and other beautiful, beautiful people. Dr. Lee Merritt gave an amazing speech. So revealing. I learned myself a lot of things from her. Uh, Dr. Christian Northrop was amazing. And we had Michael Sala welcoming JP on stage. JP was on stage. It was his first world first on stage. And he, you couldn't get him down. He was so excited to share with the public all his adventures. And it was a great historical moment for disclosure. Now, in front of 1,000 people, a TR-3B officially flew over us. It means a lot. It means this is disclosure. Now, there's nothing to stop disclosure. Fleets of spaceships flying in formation. I mean, that's it. The door of disclosing, of disclosing these technologies is now happening. It's open. So I am wishing you a wonderful week. And sorry for the delay, but this is recording recorded during a break, during uh, the JSIC. And this will be edited, will take time. So that's why you skipped a week. And I hope to see you soon next week for a new edition of Stanish Notes. Star Nation News was brought to you by Elena Danan. Don't miss the latest news every Monday on Elena Danan's channel. Video directed by Steph Zach.